Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Pelly Trolls, and thanks a lot everybody for 10,000 subscribers. I really appreciate each and every one of you and anybody who is a new subscriber. Thanks a lot for jumping on board. And I really look forward to what the future holds for me and this channel. So thanks a lot. And uh, as promised, I wanted to get into a Q&A with you guys and sort of help you guys get to know me a little bit better rather than just the regular do you like the DLC questions and stuff like that. Anything was up on the table for you guys to ask and um, I was... I had a lot of feedback, I really appreciate that, that's good, it gives me a lot of selection. So I have put as much as I could into this video here, enjoy the gameplay in the background while it plays whenever you don't see a message up on the screen, just me and a bunch of friends playing some races and having a good time. So I'm going to start off with question number one and it's coming from Freak HD. Freak asks me what encouraged you to start posting videos on YouTube? So the real answer to that guys is not just the basics of me liking video games and enjoying YouTube and all that good stuff. Uh, about 14 months ago, I sort of came down with this, these dizzy spells and some ringing in my ears. And essentially what it was diagnosed was, uh, it's called vertigo. It's nothing life-threatening, it's nothing bad, um, all necessary tests and whatnot had been done, so everything's cool. However, I suffer from a, a bunch of dizziness on a daily basis as well as uh, severe ringing in my ears. So it's something that hasn't gone away for a long time, but the whole reason I got into this was I started playing GTA while I was off, uh, off of work, not able to work because of this. And you know, one thing led to the other, months went by and I didn't really even realize like, hey, let's, I didn't even think of, let's start a YouTube channel in September when I first started playing, when it was first released. But then in like January, February-ish, I was kind of like, you know what? I'm not really getting much better, my ears still ringing, I'm really dizzy, so let me do something else to help me as a hobby to kind of kill some time. And I thought to myself, this might be something that could be really fun. Just post some things with my friends, have a good old time. I didn't really know what would ever become of this channel. But basically, I mean, I know it's not really an encouragement freak, but the answer to that is like, I was bored. I had nothing else to do. Most of you guys know in the community, and if you don't already know, right now you'll know, I'm a I'm 30-year-old man. I'm 30-plus years old. In my early 30s, I'm married. I had a full-time job, and this is what I do for fun. I do this on the side, and I have a lot of great friends that I get to play video games with, I get to associate with, and I talk to on a daily basis. And uh, I'm, you know, it's sort of weird because it's part of life, as some of you younger guys and girls will notice. It's kind of bittersweet because I'm not able to go to work and provide the way that I want to for my family. However, um, I've met so many amazing people and I've had such a good time. And it's kind of, it's weird. You'll understand what I mean when you're faced with decisions like this at some point in your life. It's bittersweet. But uh, sorry for the long answer there. I wanted you guys to really know the in-depth answer as to how I started YouTube. It just kind of happened. I was bored, right? Um, let's get into question two. Dimitri asks me how did I come up with the name Pelly Trolls. I came up with the name Pelly Trolls because my last name, uh, part of my last name, is sort of affiliated with Pelly. The first four letters are in my last name. It's hard to explain. Pelly was a nickname of mine growing up, and uh, some of my friends still call me that. And Trolls, um, I know I don't show you guys a lot of trolling videos because I just, I guess I'm not recording at the right times and. I don't think I'm too lazy, I just think I'm not smart enough to do editing as good as some of these other people can just yet. But um, I love to troll, it's plain and simple. I, I really think if you've known me, if you've watched my videos, you'll know that some of the glitches and things that I've put on my channel for you, they allow you to just troll people and harass people and you know what, I've been grieved before. So let's not everybody get all upset about the fact that I like to go in and troll people and grieve people. You don't, you don't ruin someone's life. You're playing a video game. We're just here to have fun, right? Let's get into question number three. Question number three is from Chikarito. Do you have an Xbox One or a PS4? And if so, what games are you most looking forward to? I have got an Xbox One and of course an Xbox 360. And I don't plan on getting a PS3 or a PS4 anytime soon. The games I'm looking forward to the most would have to be probably just continuing to play NHL 15 and GTA 5 next gen. I'm not the biggest game head, I'm not a huge, huge gamer, although I do want to play 
I want to play a little bit more first person shooter and get into some more games as time goes on and just bring a little bit of a more selection to the channel as well as uh, have some more fun and expand on my gaming. Now we have Ant and he wants to know do I think CJ is coming back in next gen? I don't think so Ant. I really don't think CJ's coming back but you know what man? If you're right, you're right. Alright, Andrew asks me, what is my favorite GTA DLC or video game? Well, I'm going to go with the video game one because I, I can't think of a GTA DLC that really made me that excited right now. I'd say my, I'm going to give you two. My favorite video games are anything NHL related, but mostly the EA series. I've been playing that for too many years, 20 plus years. And GTA I've been playing since day one. GTA is a sick game. It's one of my favorite games. It always has and it always will be. Super Cyclone asks, how long have you been on YouTube and are you going to continue to make videos in the future? Cyclone, I've been on YouTube officially. My first video came out on February the 10th. And if you go back into my beginning of my videos, you know what? I'll annotize it on the screen right now. So if you want to look at my first video ever, you guys can take a look at it right here. It has no commentary, but I had a decent response and I was pretty happy with it. Um, I would have to say the answer to am I going to continue to make videos in the future? I will continue. I think this is most common answer, but, but the fact of the matter is this. I will always make videos as long as I have an audience. If my channel dies, if something should happen, and if something should prevent me from, from continuing with it, I would let everybody know and I would try to find a way around it. But I mean, ultimately, it's all based on viewer base and subscriber base. If the channel keeps growing, if people are still happy with the content and I'm getting views and everything is good, I'll continue to do this as long as I possibly can because I love it. I love entertaining people. I love engaging with people. It's, it's something that I like to do. I love, in general, people in general. Patrick H. asks, what is your favorite part about YouTube? I have to say, there's a few things that are... My favorite part, it's it's hard to say one thing, Patrick. I mean, there's a couple of things you might think are weird. That's your favorite thing. I really like making thumbnails. Although my thumbnails might not be the best in the community or the best on YouTube, it is what it is and everybody got to bring their own unique spin on their thumbnails. I love to make thumbnails. Um, I really like it when I've edited something and you get to see the final product and it just comes out crisp clean everything is seamless and it's a great presentation but one of my most favorite things about youtube has to be engaging with different people on a daily basis uh, not only with my friends which i have in the gta community itself but my friends and my subscribers who i talk to i talk to some of you guys on a daily basis and you know it and i love that stuff i'm not even kidding i love to wake up and see alerts on my phone I love to see people asking me random questions, asking me how my day was, responding to me. And I'm not even gonna lie, as great, as gracious as I am for the people I have, I just wish there was more of you. That's that's something I love to do. It's a lot of fun talking with people. Pandemonium asks me, how many subs do you plan on having by the end of 2014? And you know, that's a it's a good question, but I mean I don't think I could plan for anything. Pandemonium uh, and, and everybody else for that matter. I never thought I'd get over a thousand subs in a year We're eight months later matter of fact today actually marks a full eight months right to the day It's October 10th today. I didn't even think I'd make it to 10,000 subscribers I didn't think I would meet all these people that I've met I didn't really think this would become what it is today. So right now I'm just so kind of so kind of grateful as to where we are right now that Realistically, man, if I hit only 12k by then, I'd still be happy. I mean, it's I'm just trying to say only because it, it kind of seems like it can happen by then. But let's say 15k would make me completely thrilled if I could get to 15k by the end of 2014. McGowan asks me, did you think you would impact my life by asking me to get partnered? Bunch of months back, I was working for a network, a YouTube network. And I approached McGowan as a small channel because that's what I was going after with small channels to get partnered with this network. And I'm partnered with, uh, I'm, I'm partnered with that juice right now, but I'm through Pharrell. A long story doesn't matter. However, I got him partnered and this was on his other channel. He, he has a different channel now. And 
this guy comes out of the woodwork two weeks ago and tells me that uh, it was really a big deal for him and it really impacted his life with YouTube and it helped him give him some drive and motivation to make YouTube videos and to create a channel and to continue pursuing this YouTube dream. And you know what? McGowan, thanks a lot for telling me that. I really appreciate you saying that. When somebody can tell you something like that, I don't know if you guys really realize how that feels. Like, I've impacted someone's life. That's pretty cool. So, I'm glad I could do that for you, McGowan. And I'm always here for all my friends. I'll do anything I can to help you guys. Jack asks me, how are you expecting to grow further in the future? Any tips for small GTA 5 YouTubers to strive for bigger and better? Well, I guess the answer to that, Jack, would have to be... I just keep doing what I'm doing. As long as, uh, like I said in, in the other question in the video, as long as I am not at work, as long as I'm not well enough to be at work, I'll, I'll do as much as I can on YouTube, as long as there's content, as long as I can think of things to put out there. I, I do enjoy it, despite the fact that I haven't been able to throw out two videos a day lately, uh, but that's my that's that's all it is again this is all a dream like 10,000 subscribers is something that I did not really even think this channel would ever get I thought it would just be killing time and uh, then go back to work but we're here now so I just plan on keeping keeping going just pedal to the metal man YouTube grind right just like we all do at uh, tips would have to be I mean we get asked this question a lot I get asked this question a lot my tips are this like be yourself make original content even if you are doing things like, as you see, a lot of people will do the same money glitch, the same duplication glitch. Be yourself though, be unique. Don't try to be a cookie cutter YouTube commentator. And I'm not gonna imitate anybody, but you know, like you're not a radio broadcaster. You're not trying to like, uh, you know, pull in suspenseful audiences and stuff. Make a cool thumbnail. Be, speak clearly. Make sure you're engaging with your community. Answer your comment section. Talk to people, ask them what they like. Be kind to one another. Be kind in your videos. These kinds of things, you just got to work at it. I know it's GTA is the toughest community out there. This is why I can't imagine how I even got here right now. But, I mean, again, this is where we are now. That's what I did, Jack, to get to where I am right now. And I, I hope those tips are, are something you were looking for. That's really all I can think of right now, dude. And uh, last but not least, the question from It's Chell Time. It says, fuck, marry, or kill. I'm really sorry. I know I don't swear a lot. Fuck, marry, or kill. Sir Nando, a homeless person, and what the fudge? All right, well, no homo. I'll fuck the homeless one. I'll marry Sir Nando. And thanks a lot for checking out this Q&A, everybody. Appreciate you guys taking the time to listen all the way to the end if you made it. And I really appreciate all you who are watching right now, old subscribers and new. If you are new here and you did enjoy this, please don't forget to subscribe. I can't wait to grow my channel as big as possible. It's been really exciting. And thanks a lot for joining me on the ride, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.